Hey guys, Positively Glad is back again today, and in a nutshell, we're back with Burnley, episode number 15 of the Burnley Courier Mode, right then. So, in a nutshell, guys, yesterday's episode was probably some of the most dominant FIFA I personally have played. It was wonderful, fantastic, and we had a fantastic day, other than the fact of the goalkeeper just playing like a tard in the end, he just really didn't really play really well, but we sort of did, but attacking-wise, we were brilliant, strikers flowing, but what I will simply say, in a nutshell, with this, I would like everyone please to make sure that you drop a like on this video, because it makes me happy, share because it gets me out there, and subscribe because it gets me bigger in a non-sexual way, right then, um, in a nutshell then guys, please also, oh yeah, of course, forgot about that, please make sure that you do follow me on Twitch as well, that does really help, because that's where I do all this shit, right, okay, so as we were saying guys, great episode yesterday, had to be cut short, because I had to look after the Babam, um, no, that's F1 2017, that's not out at the moment, wait there, um, yep, so, FIFA, there we go, save that, lovely jubbly, right then, so we are here, we're live with the Burnley career mode again. So, we had to cut it short, as I said, looking after baby yesterday. We are back here today, and it's a whole fresh lineup. Gray, Iheanacho, Masonda, Gentner, Cosiello, Malcolm, Punje, Ben Mee, Michael Key, Matt Lowton, Shu the goalkeeper. Brilliant team. It's our best team that we have. We are here. Right then, we are going now live straight in the first game, a minute, a minute in. I've already been around trying to get this started a little bit of a while ago. Um, so, Hull City West Ham, Leicester Stoke, which is a massive game, of course. Swansea Middlesbrough, huge bottom of the table clash. And Watford and Sunderland, which also has a major significance to the relegation battle. We are going now live to, t I believe it's, is it Turf Moor? Yeah, it's Turf Moor. We're going Turf Moor. Fuck them. You wouldn't have thought I was actually fucking sober, would you? Oh, God. Right. Okay. We'll have a go with free kicks bronze again with Malcolm. See if we can get somewhere on here. Oh, my Lord. See you later. <laughs> Definitely not gold here. That was awful, wasn't it? Um, we Shot the crossbar. Or post, sorry. And away we go, then. We're going straight live now into the depths of the FIFA stream. A big warm welcome to you to Turf Moor here in Burnley. Let's get going. One of the well, traditional know. football grounds anywhere in England. And Alan Smith, who's been here many times, is here again. It's Burnley today against Tottenham. Well, we should really expect some goals today. We're looking... At a home side that are the top scorers in the league. We've got 48 well, goals in 28 games. It's been a low scoring season. Team has got some really good strikers who are banging form. It is boiling in this house, guys. By the way. The Burnley lineup. Two banks of four. Four, four, two. Yeah, how it always used to be. Don't see it quite so often these days, but. Uh, that's a classic formation and uh, really capable of causing problems here today. Two changes for Tottenham today. Let's have a look who Tottenham have. Divock Origi is playing for <laughs> David Davis. One of the strongest teams. Have Sturridge has gone to him as well. God, they've just become Liverpool. <laughs> Liverpool have lost both the strikers. Yeah, surprisingly so. 4 1. But they're full of it at the moment. I think they might get themselves a little bit. say they're full of it. <laughs> oh, it's Andy Taylor again, the guy who gave loads of penalties away. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Three penalties in two games under this referee. Um, we are ready to go, guys. We're Off against we Tottenham Hotspur at Turf Moor. I remember where we play at now, so that's good. That championship form back. Wish I didn't have to cut the stream short yesterday, but obviously things happen. Good position. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. 
in quickly. Might have been a... He's got his shot off now. Oh, that's going to be a yellow card coming up here for, I believe, that's David Davis. It's gone for a corner. I believe. An example of excellent refereeing here. He delayed his punishment. He's going to show a card now. But he wanted that previous Ooh, attack to another corner. find its natural conclusion. Nice yeah. threatening He's start for Burnley. It's what we need. Refs, isn't he? And, uh, and in comes the header. Oh, Michel Vaughan. He's a hell of a goalie, by the way. He really is. He, Swansea saviour, as you can technically call him. That's handball by Vincent Cosiello. It's not, it's Bemi. Either way, Bemi looks like a bigger version of Cosiello anyway. So. On to the attack now. And the referee's letting it go. Looking for an opening with some good control build up. Maybe what is Cosiello doing, man? Just take the shot. Not a confident start in front of goal. We need to kind of re-pick up where we were the other day. It's a goal for Middlesbrough. 11 minutes played, 1-0. Well, they're going to start from the back because it's a back pass to the keeper. A couple of teammates who are clearly on the same wavelength. And this could be a really good move from Burnley. And shoots! Mark him! He's kept it out. After that draw, he's excited. Which was very, very well contested earlier in the season. The visiting team will come here, hoping at least to be able to do the same again. But good shoulder, shoulder, stop Malcolm. Malcolm seems very active at the early stage of the game. I was looking at the comments and I just ran past the ball. <laughs> that was handball. It's a test for the visitors. Going to put handball into a game. Okay. Keep it consistent. You know what I mean? But moving on. Right. First game of the stream. Well, they're in a good position here. That was just pointlessly bad. Oh, what is he doing? Matt Lowton was there and he just didn't pass to Lowton, so it's caused me a bit of an issue here. We move on. Oh, gosh, Yellow has really been like that up recently. I called him out for not doing too much. Zombie's had some of the games of his life in the last few, ep few episodes. Here's a chance to attack. And basically, Ian Asher just charged through the whole of the team and kicked it off about three different players, but move on from that. Our NBA offline season is going pretty well as well, guys. I'm looking at doing one of them for 2K18 on Twitch. Doing a whole My Team version. I'm not going to do the career mode. It's too much of a solo effort. I may do the My Park version of it, though. That would be quite interesting. You're not chill. Shoulder to shoulder. Pressing on. Cause yellow. Oh, just couldn't quite get it right. So we're threatening. We're, we are pressing, which is good. We're pressing forward, which is what we need to do. To low one. Rushing it here. Moving from one oh, look at that to ball to Punje there on the left-hand side of the pitch, far left. Masonda. We know about Christian Gentner. He's missed it, and he's put it over. A oh, was it deflected? Oh, Gent hit the post early on. Only in that it's uh, impairing a bit our visibility. And it's a head Bemi up still a without a goal from the box the from corners. Too. That sentence was going to mean a lot more than what it did. Oh, Gent has had a couple of really laps run. Well, he's had a laps run in the team. He's been good since we've had him. We've won games, here. but bit of a stumble. It's a foul. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. That's good. Any new people watching the stream, please make sure you drop me follow and go to my YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe, please. Much love. Of a player, Gusto. Get that just so sure on the ball. Guy, no, he wasn't his punch, eh? They've got a great understanding, this team. Just look at the passing. Lawson! Oh, good save by Vorm again. Now that's gone behind for a corner. And it's a heading chance now. It's cost the fuck in the box. Well, that looked promising, but he's been stopped. Christian Eriksen. Danny Rose. Let's work on corners. 
Burnley haven't quite got that corner. Mm. Guy position. in the middle. Got a big guy in the middle on that. Is good tackle, Michael Keane. Could have ended up in a better position, but... Kieran Trippier. He could lay it off to the supporting player. Little good header. Oh no, Malcolm with the bad pass. Up into a good position here, and then just lost the concentration, lost the ball as well. And they've got to work hard to try and get it back. Well, this attack got a bit of menace to it. Look, I'm still on the ball. And the cross coming in. Corner. Cross is blocked. Well, it's taken a touch there of the defender. It will be a corner. Get the oh, no! Well, Look how close this was! He was going to score now, I think. Oh, he got in there! Oh my God! Nearly found the angle. CG Christian Gentner. Nearly doing the bizzo there. Couldn't quite get it done. Ericsson. Oh, he's gone for a slide punch. Another slide, which has left us in trouble. Do you got save? Good position there by the kid. To get their noses in front from the corner. Check on the corner count. The fourth official has indicated there will be a minimum of three. Oh! Good to me. Tottenham all over us. And where the hell is he? Oh, he's right. Ericsson kept it in. And he's. Pajala, that's fantastic. Is that Ben? That, no, that is that is Cosiello. Right, okay, he's a smaller, smaller white man. Right, okay. Oh my God! It didn't lead to anything. The cross. Jesus. How much happening so far? Oh, but you're not show. Looking good, this move. And here's the shot. I should just That's hasn't a had a goal. shot that has got to goal yet. Very good indeed. Which is a problem. And the score is nil nil. Nil nil. Can't break Tottenham down. Arsenal and Man City. This is tam this is championship game. This, pretty much. Um, out of the subs, then who've we got? We've got Bakali, who can finally come on at full fitness. We've got Stevie Defoe for Gentner, possibly, or Barton for Gentner, who's dropping ratings now, by the way. Um, we'll bring on Vardy for Ianacho. Gray's had a fantastic run in the side, and Defoe. Should I bring Heller on? Yeah, we'll bring Heller on. We'll get some pace up. Oh, I've already got pace on the left, so. We will bring on Heller. We'll give the midfielders another 90-minute run out. Every t we've done that twice in a row now, and we've had a really, really good result from it. So, 14 and 5th... Part 14 will be uploaded later on today. This will be uploaded to YouTube a little bit later. For the YouTube viewers, as I say, like, share, and subscribe, please. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. And in he goes with the tackle. What is he doing? Tottenham given the throw. I understand clearing it, right? But we didn't need to do that. Oh, David Davis. And now he's looking for some support. Oh, he's just completely done me here. Oh, God, we David can't get the ball out of our own half here at the moment. Come on, we can do it. Trying to switch on the attacking on. power in this situation. And now the goalkeeper can maybe think about Shoot starting up and over. Oh, what is what is happening here in this team? Well, you've got to this is shocking today. Well off target. Oh, that's better. At the Liberty Stadium, Alan McAnally has got some news for us. It's a second goal for Middlesbrough. Oh, for the love of God, man! This second half has been awful. To go in. A good strike came off the inside of the first post, rolled across the goal line to the second post before spinning over the line. 52 minutes played, 2-0. Well, many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping us up to date as usual. Top of turn it up here, we need to really hang on, I guess. For Spurs coming up. Crisp defending there. Slow it down again. Oh my God, am I... What the hell? He just dived, he felt tackled, dived in front of me, he wouldn't move. Oh no, no, no. Keen, brilliant. Get it to Cogliello, get going, get it across. Right, sweet. Marcel Heller. What is what is Heller doing in the middle? Get on the left, mate. You've got 90 pace. Tottenham Hotspur in possession here. That's wonderful play Working in the end. Hard just to see 
Maybe what are you not goal. giving it to Matt Lowton for? He's our right back. Come on, man. He's done everything play. right this season. Sustain Use him. Attacking football, but when they There's no chemistry they with the midfielders now. again. It's, it's like yesterday was forgotten about. Kane. Promising build up until that challenge. We've reached the hour mark. Get, I'm, I'm getting annoyed with Gantner. What are you doing? Get in the middle. It's a goal for Sunderland. 62 minutes played. 1 0. Cheers, Alan. Well, what in the up. world is going on here? Shots on here? I've. <laughs> Bacali was open. No one's using. Oh, this chemistry's annoying. Vardy's had to take that on. It, there's nothing more we could do. Who have we got next? We have got Stoke. Oh, wonderful. Another bogey fucking thing. Of what's coming up on <sighs> Our coverage of the Premier League fixture. Burnley, they'll be hosting Stoke City. Yeah, a lot of people have been talking about this one. Looking forward to it. Danny Rose. This team is just not working in the second half. Maybe the cross. Oh, whistle's gone. Free kick. Oh, Matt Lowton with the yellow card. Team's not playing very well. If we can Let's escape this with a draw, a yellow card. Yeah, that it might work. Be careful now. You can see what he was trying to do, Alan, with that slide challenge. But it's definitely a foul. Hopefully, we can just kind of steal in there, get the draw. Be right. Oh! Tottenham have got a corner now. Good lord. Oh boy. Here goes the police. Luckily, not after me. Thank God. But Tongan in the middle. The we are struggling. Better. Well, Gentle keeps running down the left. But this time it may have worked. It's great. It hasn't worked because we've got no pace. It's like the pace has died. As for Tottenham, their next game, Alan. Well, they're playing Swansea City in the next match. And uh, I think no, we can't break them down. They've got five. Uh, they got five at the back. What's the Tottenham playing with five at the back for? Alan, that, yes, the uh, game has been as even as it seems without the, the figures to back them. He's got his shot off. Well, that's all they can do at the moment. There's a corner. The corners. There's so many books, so many dirty tackles. I know, Alan, this is one of your favourite referees, and he's done well here, hasn't he? He's come back and done the booking, having let the play go on earlier. Yeah, exactly. You've got to give the advantage to the team in possession he did that but he also punished the offender Ben me in quickly ah <sighs> damn nicely played through ball oh what is hell a give the ball to him. thank you building steadily here keeping possession this could missing be easy pass with this passing Quick tempo to the passing. The opposition can't get near them. Missing the easy pass here over and over again. Great and we're going to get caught second. out when we have now. Comes in with a tackle. Stop. Come on, pass the fucking ball! Jesus Christ! You've passed it seven times in that play off another Spurs player when there's a guy next to you. Come on! Into the attacking Shit third. like this is not... We will not win this championship if we do not Looking fucking play better than this. We've got a match against Man United at Old Trafford as well. For the FA Cup. We have to play and better than this. This is awful. Get the ball. Up. We've done nothing in the... We've had not a shot in the second half. No shots in the second half of play. Go on, Bacali. Do something, baby. And he has. He has. Apparently... Ben Davis is quicker than Jamie Vardy. We'll forget that fact. Keeping the ball moving, that's important. The shot's on. Well, you can't fault them for lack of effort. <sighs> First shot comes off someone's head. Ironically, it's Vincent Cotillo who needs to go back into fucking midfield where he's supposed to be. And here we are with Tottenham trying. We're going to lose this game. I can sense th this draw is a loss. We are better than Tottenham Hotspur. This league will not allow Tottenham to get relegated. A ball away from him with a tackle. Scrappy, horrible game. Here's Gray. Hardly wasted the ball in this game. What the fuck are you doing? Right. Lowton gone. Cosiello gone. Gray gone. All four players. 
Gentner Davis. keeps going. Heller's also been taken off. He's not going to get another try this season, I don't think. Gentner is meant to be a centre mid fucking fielder! Yeah, he's this thing. Come on! Get him off! It's the 92nd minute and he's saved me down! I'm sure this cunt's been booked. Clearly a booking, out comes the yellow card. What and is he going on here? Come on. He didn't really think about it, but I think that's Up in the air. Ball. Defender to it first. And here's the shot. Nope, another the shot, shot of someone. And this is the worst performance as my... Yep, fuck off. Just get off. Over. I shouldn't and have done this stream. I really shouldn't have done this stream. I really should have left it for later. But I've done it anyway and I've paid the price. Performances like that will get me fired. 14 shots, about two of them on target. Right, if this isn't someone important, I'm going to rip the fuck out of someone. Arsenal Back in a minute. One, Manchester City, one. Burnley, nil. Tottenham Hotspur, nil. Hull City, nil. West Ham United, one. Leicester City, nil. Stoke City, two. Liverpool, one. Everton, one. Swansea City, nil. Middlesbrough, two. Watford, nil. Sunderland won. Let's see what that means for the league tables. At the top of the table remain Burnley with 65 points. In second, Chelsea with 53 points, with a game in hand on the team above. In third, climbing the table are Everton with 53 points, but only behind on goal difference. In fourth and falling are Leicester City with 53 points, but only behind on goal difference. In fifth, Arsenal with 51 points. In sixth, Manchester United with 49 points. In seventh, Manchester City with 48 points. In eighth, Crystal Palace with 45 points, with a game in hand on the team above. Bottom of the table, Bournemouth with 23 points, with a game in hand on the team above. Ooh, chance to calm down. Table, Ooh, boy. Bottom, right, okay, Swansea we're um, with we're back. <laughs> it's about my playtime. Disappointed not to start. I didn't start you because you're an ass. Fourth bottom, Southampton with 28 points, with a game in hand on the team above. Fifth bottom, Middlesbrough with 33 points. It, that performance was just fucking shocking. It was, yeah, <laughs> fucking awful. Um, we'll bring on Steven Defoe, Ribeiro, uh, Jeff Hendrick, Will. I'm not playing either of them midfielders. They've had a stinking game here today, guys, as you can kind of tell why how pissed off I was. Um, Matt Lowton can go off for, I believe, Daddy Qua. Um, and Asar is up to 70 rated now, so he's going to be good. I don't didn't value Andre Gray much in that match at all. But everyone else seemed to have... Malcolm was the one shining light in that game, and he had half our shots, interestingly. If Ian Acho was Ian Acho. But... That there, guys, will be pretty much where I go. I'm not playing Joey Barton, simply because I know for a fact he's leaving at the end of the season and his morale can just fuck himself anyway. He's out of the way. Um, so, yeah, guys, it was an awful game, that last one. Um, I should really have done much, much better. But we'll keep it going. I believe that we are now training up the... Ah, where are we up to? We are training up... We'll do the goalkeeper again. Keep him being built up. Jew's now 51 overall, by the way. Um, in fact, he'll be 52 by the time the next game comes. Clean sheet for him, of course. So that's one promising sign. We've done what we couldn't do yesterday and kept a clean sheet. Um, we're going on to wingers now. We'll go Koulibaly. I want to get his dribbling and his ball control and, most importantly, his stamina up. We'll go for that one because it also gives agility as well. So we'll go down that route there. Um, so agility for Koulibaly will be nice to have. Um, wingers, is there any other wingers in the youth squad? Yes, there are. So we're going to go for Baker. I'll be a hard beat your man. And also the same thing applies to Richardson. We're going to keep grinding these players up. Hopefully we get a couple... If we get a rating up here, that'll be quite nice. But you never know. Looks like we have. We have. The goalkeeper's gone up. We've got loads of... Oh my god, the goalie's flown up. Goalie's got two ratings. Oh yes! Come on, man. That's how we do it. Shoe is on the advance. So, let's have a look. No improvement for Oscar Baker. Straight up a level. Um, Koulibaly, nearly 61. 
And Shu is now up to 100,000. Oh, the Groot, of course. Yeah, I forgot about the Groot. Um, is he ready to? Is he ready for prime time yet, baby? Um, so press conference. I really don't really want to. Every time I do a press conference, I just end up fucking up. So we'll go for praise, which is good. Um, let's have a little look here. Who are we going for? It's the strikers. Asawe, Ianacho. Yeah, that. Yeah, basically, we need to get that done, don't we? Um, so here we go then. We've signed Eduardo Rossi! Lovely jubbly. Right, in fact, what I will do, I will put Vardy on, but then Asawe off the bench for the pace factor, I'd say. Um, we know that Asawe, well, Vardy does have 91 sprint speed. I know that Agye has 86 sprint speed, 87 for... Jeff Hendrick is a really, really well-rounded player, but we're going to give a bit, Ribeiro a goal. 93 sprint speed for Asawi, which is going to be a fantastic, fantastic amount to have if we're playing teams like Stoke, who seem to not really have the quickest of defenders. I mean, Ryan Shawcross is a hell of a defender, don't get me wrong, but he's not kind of on pace level, really. So that is good. We will now move on, guys. I will be going for a quick cigarette as well, so forgive me. It's a bit of a broken down stream once again by pause, of course. Um, but yeah, Premier League-wise, we are nine points ahead. We did lose ground on Chelsea from that game. Eight points remaining. We have to beat Stoke. 24-point gap. We are now officially, guys, in... We're still officially eighth. Liverpool are stuck down in ninth at the moment in what I would call mid-table obscurity. We pretty much saved Tottenham Hotspur. Then if we'd beaten them, Spurs would have fallen... Well, they've risen to 14th, amazingly. They would have fell down to... would have remained in 15th, but then still in quite a bit of trouble. Now they're on the brink of safety, in my opinion. But it seems like Swansea... Bournemouth Hull actually have won two games on the spin. So... We do have Ribeiro. We've got pretty much one of the strongest teams we can field um, in terms of this level. We're once again at home. Our home form really, really, guys, has one to be desired. It's not been... Not for a lack of trying, it's not been successful. We haven't been good. Arsenal, West Ham, Leicester, Sunderland, the championship rivals. Swansea have to beat Spurs, though they're pretty much down. Holland, Middlesbrough, that's 18th versus 19th. Watford, 14th. So... You know, it's getting to the crunch time, guys. I will get the game loaded, guys. Cigarette time. Back in two.
back there. Let's get going. Game two. Hi there, everybody. I'm Martin Tyler. Alan Smith is with me. Welcome to Turf Moor. Big game this one. It's Burnley today against Stoke City. A lot of people don't buy season tickets after the last performance. It was absolutely shite. Hopefully we can play better this time. It's Stoke City. You stopped us last time as well. So, fingers crossed. Well, Here we go. This is what we're playing with. Burnley. They don't get above themselves with the expectation, but they must be inwardly very pleased as we just check as to what position they're actually in at the moment. Well, what a story it's been. Gate crashing, the big boys party here. Doesn't happen often these days, and to be top now, well, can they keep it going? Here's the lineup we're going with, guys. A few replacements. So, Alan, 4-4-2? Four, four, yeah, I think it looks that way, Martin. Yes, it's the conventional shape. It's the one that the manager prefers. Bringing Asawe back on. Heller had a bad game. I should really have swapped him out, but... Should we pull a sake? I'm a man of the match performance last time. I kind of forgot to bring him back on. A black manager. Total spit of meat. As you can tell. Mark Hughes looking more like the, the evil character out of Harry Potter. Stoke. Jack Butland starts in goal. Marco Anatovic plays with Jordan Shakiri in the wide positions. Wilfred Bonny is the main striker today. Oh boy. Oh, they got Babacar. Jesus Christ. Burnley will be looking to... Get a victory. Roger East. Really. Why is it every single referee I have looks like a cue ball? Yeah, stalemate. Nil nil. Uh, but the strikers have been absolutely desperate in the week. I think the win here. get themselves through to a win here. Today's referee is Roger East. I've never heard of that guy. I guess he's pre gen. Here we go, the guys. Rolling. And bursting to get the game underway. There's a nice early touch. That's not a nice early touch. That is. Let's play with Dariqua. Ribeiro. Not ready for prime time, as they say. Oh dear, that's a bad touch. Well, they passed their way up into a good position here. Oh no, come on. Not again. Shoot, the young Chinese goalkeeper. Still performing admirably well. Based on his skill level. Now it's Kalechi, oh dear me, it was awful. <laughs> Still not playing well today. One more, probably two more wins this season will set me up on the right well, track. We have Man United here. in the FA Cup, of course, as well. Be a throw now after the tackle. Not a good performance so far. Only seven minutes. Oh, what the, get the ball off the pitch, guys. Come on. Glenn Whelan. Oh my god. Oh, it's a corner. So we've got a bruise after that one. Should I secure with the corner? <laughs> Testing out the goalkeeper's reef animal animalistic like reflexes. Here we go. Oh dear me, another bad pass. Bad pass after bad pass today. Good strong tackle. Oh Dorico, no, the slight tackle's put me in a bit of trouble with Biro. Working hard. Just I was offside, but we'll forget about that. They cope with it well defensively. Weird, weird stuff from Stoke so far. Doing really, really odd things on the ball. Fabio Ribeiro. What we've got here is a chance for the home Kalechi. team. Kalechi. Oh, couldn't quite out muscle Ryan. Right. I was saying about Ryan Shawcross. We've got pace now on the bench to be able to tackle these guys in the second half. Oh, Bemi, stop sliding in. It's causing me problems. Short passes, but they're keeping the ball. Good challenge here. Three, oh, come Three on. Here. Four guys, thank you for watching. Four viewers, Put amazing. Please make sure if you can, um, are new to the away. channel, drop us a follow, please. Thank you. This with a chance to go into the lead now. Great stop. This is a mess. <laughs> they haven't cleared the danger yet. Managed to get it out. Malcolm on the run. Barrow. Attack now. We could be in. Oh. Oh my god, it's pathetic. Corner. Not playing as well as what we should be at the moment. And 
He's up for the header. Oh my god, that went gone south really quickly. This is going to be a throw. <laughs> it's Burnley pressing on. Tries the through pass. Fuck it. it. Oh, Ribeiro couldn't quite get there. Oh, it's a mess from Stoke, but they managed to clear the ball. Whelan. Strong challenge. A steam the fall will always work. Marco Anatovic. What's on that? Decision Swing switch. And tackle. clears the ball up for throwing. No goals on the stream today, which isn't really ideal. Marco but Anatovic. as long as Chelsea do drop points in the next couple of games, we should really still uh, be on, folks, for a... Where they've got a winger waiting. Defender to it first. Now it's Kalechi Ichianacho. Ichianacho. Is Ichianacho. He's run himself into trouble again. Common theme of Ichianacho this season. Stephen Defoe. And Pongi a bit of a run down the left. A really good move from Burnley. And they're passing so well out there. And shoots. Barrow, oh, lucky. For the attackers to feed on from the goal. Second shot of the season. Hit the post with his first. Well. He never missed a shot on target. Yep, so that's good. Oh, it's going to be a one for the future, definitely. Oh, oh. Now. that should prove to be more of a good centre attack in midfield, almost like a centre forward role. Sonda is absolutely flying here. Oh, Sonda! Oh, with Fardy! Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, God. I was expecting him to be wheeling away in celebration there. <laughs> yep. You know if Kalechi and Nacho, after kicking the ball off five people in five separate shots yesterday in one play, turns around and frowns at you for a shot, you know you've done something wrong. Can he come after Bonnie? And he does... He's in the run here. Wide here. Chance to get some width into this attack. Great tackle. Well, Wonderful tackle. On the so you do it. I think this is going to be another stalemate here. I don't think I've quite got enough to. And it will be a free kick here. Um. Okay. I've seen stronger free kicks given for sneezes, but we'll move on. Marco Arnautovic. Can't really see us winning this game. To be fair, I've not quite got the firepower on the pitch at the moment, and Gray's not on. Obviously, half the team we've had to set up because they were in brutal honesty shite last game. I can see us losing this. Guys, we need to spread this ball around a little bit more. Oh my well, love of God! Defoe come on! Well. The approach play looks very encouraging. Was left someone lying. Come on, guys! Come on. Seriously, the fucking the work it. Oh. On, but the said no. Are you serious? Get up! Oh, oh, actually, yeah, he's done his foot. Well, wow! Well, instant again. substitution. And that's why the substitutes are already primed to come on and. I'm sure this guy is bursting to make an impact. Stephen Defoe. It's on our favour hit. Body's through. This could be a chance. Oh, for fuck's sake. Rolling at the moment. Stoke are just the better team at the moment, well, we the need to get out of the way, keep black people, alright, what a save, sneaking in at the near post, Here's the chance. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, the that moment where you see a thousand pound goal difference, go, thousand pound goal bonus go down the drain, just happened this second, Now we'll counteract these substitutions. 
on the right. Bakali didn't really do much, but I have to bring him back on. Um, Hendrik. And Asawe and Vardy. We need to pair these two up Make together. Change, and it's clearly a tactical one. There doesn't seem to be any injury involved. <laughs> Hendrik, that's well. exactly what we need. Asawe, just no control. He's like an absolute fucking train wreck at the moment. We need to... It's a good £2 million pound transfer for what we're getting in the future, but for the moment, not worth the money. Got him back in Britain anyway, so... Oh, for the, wait, what is Punjay doing? Get on the left back. Oh, Asawe! Come on! <sighs> more and more shit. Defender to it first. This team is depleted, it seems. It's lacking a catalyst here. Look at all the players all bunched together. We do actually have two wingers on the pitch, by the way. Well, he's been in the game, hasn't he? That's the best we can say for him. Um, but not everything he's tried has come off. Room for improvement, I think you could say, from this lad. It's Burnley pressing on. Look very good indeed, but the we're really we're down. pressing. I guess that's one bonus of this team at the moment. But other than, oh, for the love of fucking god! He's given it straight to the opposition. Come on! Shot on. Oh, corner. Charge down. Oh, it's a corner. Fire that deflection. Other than pressing for the oh my god, that's awful. What are you ducking for a header for, you fucking retard? All right. Even Bless you. Well, good through ball. And there is some uh, backup for him in this position. He could cross it from here. Brilliant football from this team. They oh, I couldn't get there. there. Well, with two thirds of the way through the corner. minutes, half an hour to go. That will be a corner. That's a good block. Well, he had a real go. Well, you can't knock him. He was in the right place at the right time. Absolute disgustingness. Provide the finishing touch. And the shot had plenty of conviction, but it had too much height. Yeah, I think the keeper was never in trouble there. Poor effort. Try anything. I can't really try much, can I? But we'll. Stephen Defro. Players we are. Well, players we are. We're not going to win the fucking championship, but. Short passes, but they're keeping the ball. And they're keeping the ball now, passing it nicely. Another shot. I, I don't oh, think I've had a shot where I haven't hit a player in the last two games. Come on, guys. Easy spot for the referee. Oh, and my God. It's, it's like playing with fucking retards. Hardly wasted the ball. Rampoy gonna have eleven fucking game. people on the on the reserve list soon. Really good move from Burnley. Well, that's a, and here's the shot. Bacali, oh, oh good save by Butland. They're taking up their positions now. He finally got a good shot off and deal with this corner when it comes in. Here comes the cross. <sighs> Trying to cross it, and in the end, a bit of a waste, I think. Keen. The shot's on! And the goalkeeper. And Carly's well trying, but. Uh, third and final game coming up in this. I'm dreading it, really. Onto the attack now. Well, they've got a set well, um, haven't they? And this might just suit Ryan him. Shawcross has got himself a career and season in the NFL after that sort of tackle. Ryan Shawcross showed a yellow card here. He steps up for the free kick. Hasn't been able to. He's got his shot off now. <gasps> What's the goal? Hit again. They go in front. Yes. Attacking prowess. Well, no you take a free kick with your right and take a 30 yard finesse shot with your left. Fuck him. Who's score the goals? You know they are going to score. Get in there. And they've got so many different ways of breaking down the. Zachariah Bacali. Well, I've said he's been the only gem goal. on the pitch. Cool old style football too. Top corner. Jack Butland finally beaten. 
was a game that deserved the goal. Now we've got it. I would say it deserved the goal. We've been playing absolutely shite. <laughs> the baby started. <laughs> The opposition a problem with I guess she's kind of just things. talking at the moment, but a chance to attack. we are in trouble here if they break through. Ooh, that no, is abysmal. That is abysmal. Well, we scored a goal in the stream at least, so now we just need to defend, I guess. What is Hendrick doing? Even my, even my baby don't agree. Alan McAnally keeping us up to date as usual. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here. He's got support here. Tremendous understanding from these players. Shots on here. He's I keep hitting well. players with my shots. It's just not on this. No one's getting no open or anything. In the direction of what's coming up We're on down. the for you. Our coverage of the Premier League fixture. It's Burnley facing Middlesbrough. Yeah, really looking forward to this one. Uh, I think we're going to see some good football. We've got eight more minutes of the 90. Oh, for goodness sakes. No doubt about that, goal kick. <sighs> Lordy, Lordy, the midfielders and the strikers just don't like each other. I think I think um, they must have been shagging each other's partners behind the back or something before this game. Trying to come from behind. Stoke City, one goal adrift. Can they hang on to this? Oh, Hendrick, it's like you shouldn't even be on the fucking pitch. Cowardly fucking lion. Well, that's a fantastic touch by Derico, though. Sorry, what a save! A few boxes there, baby. <laughs> Got a few boxes. <laughs> Live stream guys, my fiance is currently putting together boxes behind me. <laughs> um, this is a bit of an issue. We have one player back. On to the attack now. Sawit has actually played alright. He should have got a goal there. He's still not got a goal under a Burnley shirt, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, nervous moments to come here because the home team leading by a goal. It's not looked a secure lead to me. Oh, Lord. Interesting pass, wasn't it? But it didn't get through. Oh, no. No, 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 no. He's open. No! No! For fuck's sake! You put everything into a game, well and the defense goes to sleep. Fuck off! We almost think that the team that was in the lead thought they'd won this match, but they've been made to pay for that. Final whistle's gone. Fucking joke. What a good game it was. It has finished one-one. Hey, Connor, what's happening, buddy? If you're new to the stream, drop me a follow, please. Yeah, and I mean, cannot buy a win for the life of me. Let's go find out what the other results were. I went straight onto my stream. Wait for my game to upload. Arsenal 2, West Ham United 1. Burnley 1, Stoke City 1, Hull City 1, Middlesbrough 1, Leicester City 2, Sunderland 1, Majesty United 3, Everton 1, Swansea City 1, Tottenham Hotspur 3, Watford 1, West Bromwich Albion 1. So what do those results mean to the league table? At the top of the table remain Burnley with 66 points. Thank you for the follow, Connor. Chelsea Cheers, buddy. 56 points with a game in hand on the team above. In third, rising up the table are Leicester City with 56 points, but only behind on goal difference. In fourth, climbing the table are Arsenal with 54 points. In fifth, moving down are Everton with 53 points. In sixth, Manchester United with 52 points. 
In seventh, Manchester City with 48 points, with a game in hand on the team above. In eighth, Crystal Palace with 45 points. Bottom of the table, Swansea City with 25 points. And then reading up the table, second bottom, Bournemouth with 26 points. Third bottom and falling are Southampton with 28 points, with a game in hand on the team above. Fourth bottom, rising up the table, are Hull City with 29 points. Fifth bottom, Middlesbrough with 34 points. On to the third and final game of this one, guys. This is going to be against Middlesbrough. This one legitimately is a must-win game here now. Mental fragility means Middlesbrough cannot win. Ugh. Kind of a bit harsh, isn't it? So, let's have a look at what the team is we're going to play today. I think I'm going to bring back the big guns here today, I think. Um, so, Andre Gray can come back into the starting lineup. And Ian Acho will go back on. I saw we had a good performance, but he's not kind of ready for prime time, so to speak. Matt Lowton will bring him back in after the... Another shocking performance, it must be said. Let's have a look then. Left midfielder. We'll give Masonda a bit of a break today. He's had quite a few games back-to-back. -back. Um, so, we'll bring on Christian Pulisic who is 17 years old, but looks about 35, so we're going to kind of bring him on. Um, we are pretty much in danger zone at the moment here. We threw away another victory in the last minute, which we can't really afford to do again if we're going to be looking at a serious, serious chance at the championship. We've not really got many of the big teams to play over than Manchester United and Everton in terms of the league. So this is kind of where we're looking at the moment. Um... As you said, guys, this is the last one for today's particular episode. So let me have a quick look. Once again, Connie. You can't put it in your mouth. Uh, Rianne. Look at her top. Right. I'll be back for the next game in two minutes, guys. <laughs> Give me a moment. <laughs> Sorry. Should we call it baby troubles? <laughs> Back in a moment.
Just a quick one there, back really briefly. In fact, I'll do this while I'm sorting. Oh, lovely. Nappy out. <laughs> um, Zhu is Connor, our uh, 53 rated Chinese goalkeeper. And oh my god, that's delightful, isn't it? Ooh, hey. I can feel that like a fucker. <laughs> um, yeah, Zhu is a 53 rated Chinese goalkeeper. I thought the main kind of reason using him, it may potentially. I will bring on. Well, I'll kind of go back to the backstory. I originally, obviously, Burnley start with Tom Heaton. But what I did was I sold uh, Heaton because someone offered me 15 million for him. And I went, yeah, I've got to do that. And I can't remember who it was. I think it was a championship team. Newcastle, potentially. Or it may be someone else. We'll find out later. But um, then we went and bought Jordan Pickford. Got him to 82 rated in one season, which is f fucking fantastic. And then um, ended up selling him for 25 million pounds. So I thought rather than splashing out money on a new goalkeeper, I'd just promote one. And to be fair, he's done all right, but... Oof, God, am I breathing today? Um, but in terms... It's fucking boiling. But in terms of the... In terms of the kind of level of him, I think um, basically he is kind of one of them where it's just going to be keep using him and using him and using him, basically. We're going to bring on, I think, potentially today, um, as a second striker, I'm going to bring Voxy back on. But obviously, we're coming to the end of the season now. In fact, do you know what? I'm going to give this motherfucker a little go. Should we give Rossi a go? You are. Yeah, definitely do the temperature. Love. Um, right, so... Put a vest on her and then... Oh, yeah, okay. Like a sort of baby girl thing. Right then. Um, I've brought on the two fucking sh busketeers. I call them busketeers because they had a bust playing against Tottenham a minute ago. We've had two draws in today's episode. I've never actually ended it with three draws. So, we'll try and see if we can come back from somewhere. Thank you very much for tuning in, Connor. And once again, mate, once... Oh, Bournemouth, Chelsea. If Chelsea don't beat Bournemouth... And Arsenal don't beat Palace. I think we should be okay. Even with a draw. Basically, if Chelsea are more than seven points down here, we've only lost two points this episode, which is good. Oh, she's really red on her back. Hey. Bev, look on her back. I think she's just hot, isn't she? Should we crank the window open and lock him out there? Right, just going to go and sort the, the house out a minute, guys. Give me one minute this time. I'll be straight on. Thank you. Right then, let's get to this, folks. We now have... Hi there, everybody. Martin Tyler here, along with Alan Smith. and our My baby's watching me for the first time doing this as well, properly. Come here in the background. She's had the old jabby, jabby, jabbies today, so she's been a really good girl. Burnley will be looking to... Spoke too soon. need a victory, really. Last time out, they were at home. All right. So we are away, I believe, not Middlesbrough. So we've got another away game coming up. I will skip to that. Look at this. Well, it's a humdinger of a relegation scrap, isn't it? And certainly wouldn't want to be involved in it if I was a player. As the claret and blue of Aston Villa departed from the Premier League. The claret and blue of Burnley came back into the Premier League. Well done to them. Yeah, I mean, uh, under Sean Dyche, they uh, did remarkably well 
he kept the squad together in the main. I mean, he lost a few players, but they bounced back, and who's to say they won't stay there? And this is the 11 that will take the field for Middlesbrough. So look for Middlesbrough. Ashley Barnes, a former striker, that's where he went. Plays with Robbie Brady in the wide positions. In attack, Ashley Barnes starts. Victor Fisher. Lasse Vibe, another one of my former players. This is the Burnley lineup. Probably one of the two front men will slip behind the other and, and augment the midfield when required. I think so if they start getting. And the fourth Tashini was back here. He's missed out about three games. He's not played this episode. This manager who does like to. Philly's midfield. Referring today, Andre Mariner. Here we go then. Last game of the episode against Middlesbrough. Let's get to it. And it's the start of the game here. Hopefully we can do something against Barrett. Maybe back tonight, guys, with my cooperative championship F1 with Raritron, but I'm not 100 percent sure. Not quite sure what tonight holds yet. We've got a meeting in the F1 league as well. But that's not going to be streamed, obviously. No oh, come on. Straight away a foul. Come on. And here's the shot from the free kick. But he's had a go. Well, if you don't buy a ticket, as they say. And uh, fair play to him for having a crack. Andre Gray. Ooh. Go on, pull a sec. And in goes the cross. Up for grabs here. If one striker didn't go for that, we would have been 1 0 up. All I'm saying, guys, is my baby has as much personality as me as you can hear. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can do anything about Middlesbrough here. He's one I know Alan's keeping an eye on here. Well, he can't stop setting them up. Leading assists with eight. Gentner. Pulisic. <laughs> oh, well, cos yellow. Passing ball. Somebody in the crowd, maybe. Barnes. A lot of defenders between them and the goal, but they still got the ball. Oh, he's got, he got his shot off now. Christian Pulisic. Comes in strongly. We're just having a mare of a game. This, this is the worst stream I've ever done. This has been fucking awful, this. Eden Hazard. He got on the end of a fine passing move to steal the ball past the keeper. 16 minutes played, 1-1. One, one. And he could get away here. Stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looked very encouraging. What in the... Corner to come now. What in the actual world is going on there? Let's kick that out. Well, he's got his fist to it. Here comes the cross. Gettner! Ooh, Gettner! Oh, lucky. Bless my baby, she's not well at all today. She sometimes sits down here, guys, and kind of just sits here watching me, but she's had jabby jabs today. So really not well today. 1-1 one, one between Chelsea and Bournemouth. I can't concentrate, this is ridiculous. I thought to wait at home, I just didn't. But I'm sure the hosts but moving really on. determined to uh, get some revenge. Yeah, I'm sure they are. They should be because they didn't play well in that earlier game. But great chance here for the visitors to take six points <sighs> Fun time, is it? Their opponents. I've been concentrated since Spurs, so. You can tell, Kai, I'm not playing very well today. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. Well, they passed their way up into a good position here and then just lost the concentration, lost the ball as well. And they've got to work hard to try and get it back. It's great. 
Down in South London is Alan McAnally with the goal at Sellers Park, Alan. It's a goal for Arsenal. It's been scored by Alexis Sanchez. The cross came over, was missed by the defence. Oh, come on! The far post to volley home. 29 minutes played, 1 0. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. Referee. Free kick. Don't Rewarded blow a case. fucking Middle. free kick. Oh, just play on. Oh, my batteries are low. This just fucking completes the day, doesn't it? Having drawn their last two games, which shows a competitive streak, but maybe not quite the winning mentality that they need. No. Do you wonder whether a draw here would be satisfactory, whether they take that now? Get that! Get that! Oh, he's missed another one. That would have given them the lead. Fucking atrocious. Really know where to go with this team at the moment. <sighs> Hit and hope, I guess. It's grey. Run out of luck. I don't expect to win the Premier League. This could be a really good move. The sick. Grey. Oh, he's put it over. Come on. Well, we've seen plenty of heading goals from this lad, but couldn't add to the collection there. Fight. Strong challenge. Here's Gray. Oh, come on, you can stay on your feet there, mate. Come on. If, if you don't if you don't send him off here, this is a waste of time. You've yellow carded him and you pulled up a good, a good attack. Card. It's ruined the absolute flow of the game. Card, Again. Yeah, I think so. Looking back on it, he had no choice at all. Oh, it's just shot after shot of hitting other players. We have got a timer here. There you go. Shot Blocked it then. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to score with this team, guys, anymore. I've forgotten how to do it. Key. Bend me. Gentner. Key. Here's Gray. Gentner. And it's going to be a minimum of three minutes to be played of added time. Good pass, getting it forward. To put them in front. Great stop. <sighs> Guided on by his head. And they've got the ball still. Oh, come. Wonderful chance. Oh Wonderful my god, stop. I'm done. I'm fucking done. And it's out. Corner. And in comes the header. This is. And there is the half time whistle. Pull my hair up now. <sighs> More bullshit again for this team. It's. Four, pe three people just got in the way of each other's shot, and then a, a, a basically an open goal. They kick it into well, the fucking goalkeeper. The really Amazing. It's going to be an alteration. To try and improve the team. I almost don't want to make a substitution, really. I don't want to bring anyone else on for this farce. Play back. This is Middlesbrough. This is the team that's Gray. about to get relegated. Trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here. Is Punji still on the pitch? I subbed him off. Looking for an opening with some good control. Oh, builder. fucking come here. Give me a. I'm going to get myself red card and I've had enough of this shit. Come here. They've lost the ball now. Easy decision, free kick. I'm sick of it. It's, he doesn't deserve to be on the pitch, so get off. Fucking awful. Readjust the team now. Just given his fellow defenders an awful lot of work to do now. Now they've got a chance. I don't expect to win these games, but fucking do my head in when it doesn't work. Crosses in. Well, that's always the goalkeeper's ball, and a simple catch as much as anything. I'm fucking sick of this game. team, honest to God. I really, really don't want to be here next season. Well, a real treat in store for you.
coverage on EA Sports of the Premier League fixture. Middlesbrough, and they'll be hosting Arsenal. Yeah, a lot of oh, you've passed the ball to so the wrong fucking forward. player again. Tackle goes in. Here comes the cross. He headed it oh my! Oh, well, Victor sorry. Valdez is turning himself into fucking Muhammad He's Ali in the boxing ring. The one at the other end as well. He's not that good. Both been in majestic form to maintain clean sheets. Tries the through pass. No one's getting. Oh cut! No, no! If, how is that not a foul? <sighs> Fuck off! It's grey. On the attack here. I've not made a clean fucking play in the last three Sister. games. Oh, do you know what? Very Fuck it. Kill me now. This is on the live stream, guys. You could just play bad offline, could you? Barnes. Fucking awful. Now I've got no right back. Oh, why not? Just go and score. Team. Fuck it. I'll put the ball in my own bastard net. Fucking atrocious. And it's been an hour of very good football here. We've still got 30 more minutes to go. I don't know what to do. I don't. I'm, I'm playing shite. Got to keep pulling on. He's the only one who can play at the moment. Um, Vardy has done absolutely nothing. Gray can fuck off because he's done completely nothing. And Bakali because you scored the winner. The, well, it should have been the winner if we weren't a bag of fucking shit. I'm sure we're going to enjoy that as well. Tackle here. I meant to do a B tackle there and it slid after pressing B. So work that out. I'm on Xbox, of course. If you couldn't work that out by now, you need to fucking yeah, learn buttons on controllers. In the next match. I think it'll be fine. I'll, uh, I'll win Malcolm's got to play right back here. Do you guys want to get any more casual? -er? We need to win the game to win the Premier League title. Come on, play on. Oh, fuck. Jesus Christ. It's like I want to fucking rip their heads off. Guys, this is as bad as it looks. As bad as it looks, this. It is fucking awful. It hasn't made my substitution either. Adam Clayton. My left back, who's been shite, is still on the pitch. One or two players are warming up for the home team. We'll see who comes on. Gentner. Oh, oh, uh, no. Right, okay. There's, there's a whole shake up here. I need to reshake this up again. The, Got the go on, Cosiello. Just a quick check on the clock, and there are 20 minutes to go. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. This guy is so good. Get up around, Cassiano! Gaston Ramirez. Someone move on my team! It's like playing with chess pieces! Baragas. My eyes, I've got hairs. Right, give me a minute. I'm fucking distracted here. Fucking frustrated. Oh. This is three games with one goal. Keeps it going. Come on, Jake, thank God. The ball broke free. And this could be a really good move from Burnley. Mace has actually got there. Just to see maybe a sight of goal. No one's made the right run. It's Keeps awful. It because Yellow walks the ball out. Okay, right. Transfer list to you, mate. I'm, I can't be dealing with this shit every single game. It's been every game. He gives the ball away, and we always have someone run at us every time he gives the ball away. This guy is money, <laughs> I mean, rather than an actual player here. Tackle here. Do we want to give the ball away anymore? I mean, fuck me. Call this fucking chat. I'm going to read it in the stadium charity pitch. Oh, it's just fucking like watching. Oh my god. No, it's three on one. 
Ah, <sighs> FIFA Rage, live. Oh, that's sweet, it's 1-0. Oh my god, the keeper saved it. We have hope. I'm done. I'm done. Fuck it. Whatever. Not interested. Not interested. We're, we've lost the Premier League title in this stream. Three games. Two points. What are these guys doing? <laughs> God, I want to fucking strangle them. Go. 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 You're not sure. Don't you dare get that ball away. He's not offside, is it? He's offside. I'm done. Oh, it's not. Oh my god. Obviously. And then Magnetic Keeper has cost me a point. Wonderful. <sighs> Just time waste. Alright. Possession in the midfield area. Can't do anything. My players my is my controller broke or something here. Well, you can't. I've lost to Middlesbrough! Again! Fucking for real! This keeper has to go off. I'm sorry, it's not good enough. In fact, I'm probably going to make 11 changes for the next match. Guys, what do I do? Comments, now help me for fuck's sake! What do I do? I've lost the game, which I shouldn't have lost! I should have ended this stream on nine points, and I'm on two. Bournemouth one, Chelsea one. <sighs> Fuck! Crystal this Palace stream is over. Nil. That's all I'm saying. Two, Manchester City three, Hull City nil. Middlesbrough one, Burnley nil. Stoke City one, Liverpool one. Tottenham Hotspur two, Watford two. I don't want to sign this off with an ending, but it's going to YouTube after. Nil. So what do those results mean to the league table? At the top of the table remain Burnley with 66 points. In second, Chelsea with 58 points. In third, Barrist. climbing the table are Arsenal with 57 points. In fourth, moving down, are Leicester City with 56 points, with a game in hand on the team above. In fifth, Everton with 53 points. In sixth, Manchester United with 52 points. In seventh, Manchester City with 52 points, but only behind on goal difference. Cheers, right, Zad. Boys, with 48 points. Boys, go onto my YouTube, the positive table, glam of the space, City and um, take a look at my other games. Game in hand on the team above. That's how I usually play. Then reading up the table, second bottom, well, Bournemouth with 27 points. She's gone down a bit now. Third bottom, oh, nope. and falling are Hull City with 29 points, but only behind on goal difference. Fourth bottom, rising up the table, are Southampton with 29 points. Fifth bottom, moving down, are Watford with 36 points, but only behind on goal difference. I'll be given a new formation to try out, I think, Voids. It's... Because this here today has been embarrassing to be after actually after streams here. Losing against Middlesbrough, I mean, <laughs> I mean, fuck off, like. So guys, I will say now safely, um, thank fuck this is done. Um, if you can um, please make sure that you do like, share and subscribe on the YouTube video. Please make sure you follow me on Twitch, share it as much as you can. I'm positively glad, take care, much love, and I'll see you very, very soon.